Hello, hello friends. We are home. We are back to the normal swing of life. Well, we're actually gonna be really getting back to normal because Taryn starts her new job next week and she is going into office two to three days a week. So she's doing like half work from home, half in the office, which is gonna be so weird. Basically, since we've been together, have spent like 24 seven together all the time, which is obviously not healthy but I do like being around her. So it's gonna be very weird to like be at home working and she's at an office and for her to be like on my way home. Like we don't text a lot anymore cause we're always together. I don't know, it's so funny to me. I'm really excited for that like new chapter of life and everything. She's working out in Santa Monica. So that's gonna be really fun. We live on the east side. I love the west side, obviously, the coast, the beach, everything. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to like have an excuse to go out there and hang out there. Anytime I get home from being away at all, I just wanna like do a million things around the house. I like see it through fresh eyes and I'm like, we gotta get stuff done. So I'm literally looking at the deck below us right now. I cannot show you yet. I am praying guys, I'm praying so, so soon. We can do a reveal. Uh, things have taken a little longer than anticipated, but we did change the bedroom a little bit. So I will show you that. We got all new bedding from Parachute, which I am in love with. It's so beautiful. I love the colors and I think it goes so well with our new photo above the bed. We also got a headboard, which I haven't had a headboard since I was like a kid. And I just feel like it makes the room look a lot more adult. We got some curtains hung up. We need to get new bedside tables. We ordered new lamps they'll be here soon they're also stunning i'm so excited we got an entire twin mattress for the dogs because it perfectly fits in here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a little like i don't know shelf in there where we can also put storage under it and then that'll be like a raised bed for them oh are you putting your new shoes on yep taryn got new running shoes today oh they're really pretty i like them a lot anytime i'm reading you guys are always asking for book recommendations. Tara and I went to Barnes and Nobles today and kind of went uh, a little wild. So I went in to get another book by Taylor Jenkins Reid, who is one of my favorite authors. As you guys know, if you have not read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, get on it. I've read a ton of her other books, so I was trying to find something I haven't read yet. So I was trying to pick between one and I couldn't, so I got them both. Taryn went in to get another book by this author. She read, what is that book called? Anxious People? I read Anxious People, uh, which was absolutely amazing. Can't recommend enough. But this one is like the other one that everyone swears by. And then I've heard good things about this one, but. Basically you did the same thing. You went to go get a specific book by an author you know you like and got two. Oh, yep. This was on Reese Witherspoon's book club thing. One of her recommendations and I love everything she recommends for the most part, but wait, I have to redo this back part. It says, Gossip Girl meets Mean Girls mixed with to all the boys. <gasps> oh uh, my lord. With a touch of You've Got Mail. It's basically impossible not to like. Yeah, so that that's sounds impossible awesome. not to like. Good morning, guys. I just wanted to share an update on what have I been doing for my skin? I have really, really, really simplified my routine. I don't currently do like an 80 step routine, which may come to a shock to a lot of you. Well, that's a lie. I do do that sometimes. Like once a week I will splurge, kind of like doing a face mask. That's when I do like a long intensive skincare routine, but I don't do it morning and night or every day anymore because I have really sensitive and really dry skin. So I have to be careful overdoing it. For a long time I was using like a new product on it every day and just constantly mixing it up. And that just does not lend itself to good skin for me because of my sensitivity. So I'm going to show you a rundown of my current routine featuring all of my products from agency who sponsored this video and who have saved my skin. <laughs> I've been using the Future Formula now since back in January. Just a quick rundown in case you haven't heard me talk about agency yet. They're personalized prescription skincare made for you by a dermatology provider. There are 
are different ingredients that you will work with your dermatology provider to make sure you have the right mixture for your skin. You fill out a questionnaire so they have all the information. You send pictures of your skin. I had been so excited to work tretinoin into my skincare routine. I just heard so much good things about it and did so much research. I knew it was kind of the ingredient that my skin was going to need. However, since I am so sensitive, I was worried about overdoing it and my skin freaking out. So I started at the absolute lowest dose, I believe, at 0.005%. And then I worked with my dermatology provider and we are now up to 0.007. I know that tretinoins and retinoids and retinoic acid, all of those terms can be kind of confusing. So I actually did a post on the Uneducated Podcast Instagram. I'm gonna scoot over so I can pop it up here. And I think this kind of helps break down the differences between all of them. Tretinoin is the gold standard prescription retinoid, not to be confused with retinol, which you can get over the counter. It is going to boost cell turnover. So that's gonna help with fine lines and dark spots. To say I'm obsessed would be a massive understatement. But Agency just launched their CloudCare Duo, which is the moisturizer and cleanser. They are the perfect pair to either your future formula or if you have the dark spot formula. I really feel like your cleanser and your moisturizer are like the hub of your skincare routine. Once you have these down, they will balance out your skin and set you up so that you can then add different treatments to deal with any problem areas that you have or concerns that you have with your skin. You guys know that I am always talking about double cleansing or cleansing with oils. This cleanser is so unique because it's a cream to an oil. So it's going to help remove all that makeup or SPF or any junk you have on your skin from the day while also being super hydrating. It has glycerin and squalene in it, which are so good for balancing your skin in a cleanser and not giving you that like strip down feeling that a lot of cleansers can do. You're gonna be super hydrated so your skin's properly prepped for any treatment. This is such an incredible everyday morning and night moisturizer because it's really weightless, but it's also incredibly hydrating. It's one of those moisturizers where if you put it on at night, you wake up and you still feel that like plumpness and hydration, but during the day you're not feeling like sticky and heavy and like your face is weighed down by your moisturizer. If you guys would like to try out Agency, you can actually get your first month for free. Just pay $4.95 for shipping and handling. I will have a link in the description box below so you can check that out. If you have any questions about any of the ingredients I talked about today, feel free to comment below and I will try to get to as many as I can. All right, I gotta go start my day. I will see you guys soon. Oh. Taryn said the W word, and now Frank is Frank, come here. very excited. You wanna go for sprint? <coughs> you do? <laughs> no, you don't. Do you wanna go for a walk? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting so loud. All right, go get your leash. Go get your leash on. Oh, you don't wanna go. I don't think you wanna go. All right, we'll take Riggins. You can okay, stay Riggins, here. Riggins, we're taking you on a walk. Frankie, Frank. you stay here. He's like, yeah, right. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> we are back on the phone today for vlogging. Nothing happened to my camera. I just forgot it. <laughs> you guys, she spilled coffee all <laughs> over it. A little bit. I actually did get stressed. I'm using this coffee cup today, and that's the one that ruined all my all my things. We are driving to Taryn's new office. Woo -woo. It's Friday. She starts on Monday, and she has to be there at ten on Monday. So we're like. We're having like our little orientation. We're driving, seeing how long it takes from ours so she's not late. And we are currently late. If and this we was are late. <laughs> if this was Monday, we'd be late. It's oh, here it is. Out. <gasps> oh my god, that is a big fucking building. Oh, that's where I park. <gasps> oh hi parking. Oh the building's cool. Look at the Yo, like it's very brown. cool. <gasps> wow. Whoa. So we're gonna go grab a little breakfast and then head home for our at home work day. Yup. Good morning. It is Monday and Taryn just left for her first day of her new job. Frank, you gonna lay on the blanket? Let me sit with you. I'll come sit with you. She's so excited, it's so cute. And I'm so excited for her. And it's gonna be an adjustment, it's gonna be interesting to be home taking care of these two goobers by myself. Oh, 
or you just got scared of something. Yeah, I'm really excited. I have a lot of work to do today, but then I want to try to like clean the house and go buy Taryn some flowers and make it all cute for when she comes home. All right, well, I basically just have like a really busy work day today, so I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. I will see you guys next week. Frankie, you wanna say goodbye? Say bye guys, see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good job. Good job, bud.